gentlemen, welcome to Mrs. Brown's Boys. She's Mrs. Brown. And Merry Christmas to you. Don't you just love Christmas? It's my favorite time of the year. And though, though I feel sorry for people with young children, it's getting harder and harder for Santa Claus to keep them happy. One year, my dermot asked me for something to wear and something to play with. I got him a pair of trousers and they cut the pockets out. <laughs> he still has them. All oh, right, that's the decorating finished. You know, it can be a lonely time. Christmas. A lot of people think lonely means alone. It doesn't. You can be lonely in a packed room if the one person you're missing isn't there. Well, I won't be lonely this Christmas. This is my son, Trevor. He's away in the missions. I haven't seen him for four years. This Christmas he's coming home. Agnes! There's tea made there, Willie. Is it snowing yet? No. Feck it. Anyway, with Trevor coming home, I want to make this a really special Christmas. <laughs> Grandad, this tea made. Grandad. Grandad! Must be asleep. <laughs> Not fucking <feckin'> dead. <laughs> Either one suits me. <laughs> Stuff the turkeys, ash with holly, tra la 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 Tis the season to be jolly. To it is the sea. To do the jolly. <laughs> when is this fucking happy hour? It's Jacko's job. They've put him on a three day week. Jeez, oh, he won't like that. Having to work an extra day. <laughs> it's not funny, Agnes Brown. We can barely manage as it is. I won't be able to afford Jacko's medicine. I lose the house. I'll be living on the streets, in and out of hostels. I'll probably become a junkie. <laughs> What will I do, Agnes? If I was you, I'd go home and feckin' hang myself. <laughs> and lose the house. See, your rent is only a couple of euro a month. And anyway, your house is in such shite the council wouldn't take it back if you asked them to. I never thought of that. Here, I could get a job. I gave up my career when I married Jacko. Winnie, Mrs. Whippy's not a career. <laughs> but you're right, you could get a job. Maybe you could work for one of those escort agencies. Do you think? Oh, yes, I'm sure there's loads of rich men out there want to go out with their ugly feckin' granny. <laughs> no, I was joking. <laughs> but you're right. You could get a job. It'll give you something to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be busy on the stall coming up to Christmas. You can come in there for a week. That'll give you a few bob. Thanks, Agnes. You know, you're right, pet. The Lord doesn't close one door, but he opens another one. He's right, Winnie. Now you open that door and feck off. <laughs> Morning. You're up early, Marie. I thought you went in more to do it, love. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just bang your breast off the table there? Told you you shouldn't have gone for the enlargement. Morning. Hello, love. Marie, you're up early. Yeah. Any news? Yes, actually. Father Quinn has asked me to be in the nativity play. Really? Yes. As what? The Virgin Mary, I think. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> but that's great. Morning, everybody. Morning, love. Good morning. Do you want a cup of tea, Henry? Henry? Who the hell is Henry? Henry, Santa Claus's reindeer. Santa didn't have a reindeer called Henry. Yes, he did. Henry the brown-nosed reindeer. <laughs> he was just as fast as Rudolph, but he couldn't stop as quick. <laughs> well, I'm not Henry. Oh, but you are a gorgeous reindeer. <sighs> anyway, I better go. I'll see you later. Hang on, I'll be with you. Mammy, hold the tea, I'm going. Hey, gamers. I think it's going to snow today. I don't think so, ma'am. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you know, I forget how lucky I am sometimes, especially this year, with Trevor coming home. For the first time in four years, I'm going to have all my family together for Christmas. <laughs>
Oh, hello, Hidley. <clears throat> Come in. <laughs> Would you like some tea, Hidley? Do you have anything that's not a mug? The dog's dish. <laughs> no, thanks, Agnes. It's just a brief visit. Are Maria and Dermot here? No, you just missed them. She kissed them on the horn and off they went. I see you've started the decorations. Start? Well, yes, I have a bit more to do, yeah. yeah, yeah. We had over a thousand lights up last year, all over the place. Oh, we had lots of lights up. I didn't count them because I was afraid to start counting them in case Christmas would be over before I finished. <laughs> yeah. We had to go outside and divert the airplanes. <laughs> this is not the airport! <laughs> Keep going! Get all go, go over the head, down, sit, uh, mm -hmm. Yes, well, I just called to ask you, is there any food that Dermot either doesn't like or is allergic to? Jesus, no. If you left your arm on the table long enough, he'd eat it. <laughs> Good. I'm just planning the Christmas Day menu and I want to make sure I don't make any mistakes. Right, I'll be off. Well, well, hold on, hold on a second. Wait a second. <laughs> hold on a second. No, stick on the handbrake there. <laughs> Dermot and Maria will be having their Christmas dinner here with the family. No, no, I've already spoken to Maria, and she has confirmed they'll be spending their first married Christmas at the Nicholson household. <laughs> right then, I'll leave you with it. You obviously have a lot more decorating to do. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to a family Christmas. Bye. Isn't she a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Brill. Hello, Buster. Is it snowing out there? No. Fix it. I have the deal of the century. What is it? Chocolate Kimberly. The Christmas presentation tin. Only two euro. Buster, are these stolen? No, no. More or less legit. I bought two thousand tins for fifty cent a tin. That is a good price. I should mention, in the interest of fairness, <laughs> that there are chocolate biscuits and presentation boxes from all kinds of manufacturers available in stores all over the United Kingdom. <laughs> Aren't there, Buster? <laughs> yeah. Best before. Buster, these are last year's. Watch. <laughs> No, they're this year's. And you owe me 50 euro for the turkey. Oh, when can you deliver him? <laughs> you didn't. Well, you said fresh. I didn't mean in the feckin' egg. <laughs> what am I supposed to feed him? I don't know. He likes chocolate Kimberly. What's he doing here to live? I'm sure he's looking at you thinking the same feckin' thing. It's like a feckin' zoo in there. A turkey and a pig. Are you still working, Cathy? No, I'm on just chatting on Facebook. What were you doing upstairs? Practicing me audition. What audition? Father Quinn's asked me to, to be in the nativity play. Really? Yes. As what? Virgin Mary, I think. <laughs> no, really. Lovely. That'll be fun. Do you want to see me audition? Well, watch, watch. <laughs> she sighed sadly on a donkey. Then she comes up to the inn. You see? Whoa, whoa, Caesar. She called it after a salad. <laughs> she knocks on the door. Boom, boom, boom. And the innkeeper goes, Hello? Hello? Who's there? And Mary says, I am Mary. So he opens the door and goes, there is no room at the inn. And she said, but, but I am exhausted. I have come across the desert on my ass. <laughs> and the innkeeper said, and a lovely ass it is, too. 
And his wife hears, so she comes over and she goes, eh, are you all right, madam? Are you pregnant? And Mary said, no. Excuse me, first name, Virgin. <laughs> <laughs> but I do go to Weight Watchers. <laughs> That's why I'm on the salad. <laughs> It's good, isn't it? It's great. Oh, thanks, love. Thanks very much. So, how's Winnie doing? Winnie's doing grand. She's going to be a consumer advocate for the magazine. They're going to send her products. She tries them out, writes a little report, and sends it in. That's fantastic. They said that she's the perfect consumer. Baffles me. She buys fuck all. <laughs> well, good for her. Good for her is right. Oh, dear. The signal is going. Why does that always happen when I'm thick and nearish? I don't know, Mammy. Must be all the static you collect. Do you want me to do the usual? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks, Mammy. <laughs> there it is, back again. <laughs> and now look, Trevor says hello from the missions. Oh, tell him that Mammy was a signal. <laughs> tell him his Mammy loves him. And I'm counting the days till he gets home. What's he saying? Uh, he says he's counting them too. Do you know, Catty, sometimes I sit in the kitchen thinking about him coming home for Christmas. I'm fit to fucking burst with excitement. He's just the same, he says. <laughs> Did you see what Trevor wrote on Facebook? <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? I swear to God, that child has to get loose around the pants. <laughs> Here, Catty, I had Mrs. Nicholson over. Do you know what she said? She thinks Dermot and Maria are going to her house for Christmas. They are. And they're worried about having to tell you. They're right to be worried. Hey, Dermot. All right, Maria? How are you, Buster? Is your ma here? No, she's not back from the stall yet. Good. What are you doing here? I have to kill the turkey. And your ma said I was to do it when she wasn't here. Oh, I don't know if I want to be here either. Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> right. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Turkey. <laughs> nice, Mr. Turkey. All right, Mammy? I'm glad, son. Do you know, I've been thinking. Yeah? Maria, we have you here all year round. I think it might be a good idea if the two years went to Maria's mother's for Christmas dinner this year. Well, if you think it's a good idea. And then you can come back here for tea. And we can have tea together with the whole family. That'd be great, Mammy. Tea in our house. The family tea. And with Trevor home, a really special one. Yeah. Are you all right? I couldn't do it there, Mum. <laughs> he said my name. Buster. <laughs> Winnie, where's Mammy? She's done her audition for Father Queen. Not anymore, she's not. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Did your audition go? <laughs> it went well. Father Quinn made a couple of adjustments. But, you know, I think it did enough to get the part. Thanks very much, Miss Foley. Well, good for you, I <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> the bail of hay for the donkey, Mr. Foley! <laughs> <laughs> I better go in and water this donkey. You must be bursting, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold your tail. Oh, good for me. I haven't had the jail in a while. Betty, love, we better make a move. Aye. Mark, someone needs to tell Mammy about Trevor. I don't mind. It's not as easy as you think. Look, Mammy's just gonna have to accept it. Trevor's not coming home. That's that. <laughs> I tried to cut me leg, but I couldn't reach the bowl. <laughs> We better go. We have to get back to the babysitter. Yeah. Night, ma. Good night, son. 
Mummy, before he goes, Mark has something he wants to say to you. Don't you, Mark? What, love? Well, Ma, you know the way everybody is really busy at Christmas? Yes, you're lucky if you can get everything done, you're fine. Now, is this about my Christmas present? You're not to be getting me anything big. Well, not. Just a token present. Freaking token? <laughs> Better be a token shaped like a flat screen TV. Never mind that. Go on, Mark. Well, Ma, yes, it's about Trevor coming home. Yes, love. I just want you to know that. Yes, love. No matter how busy it gets. Yes. I'll be at the airport to meet him. Okay, let's go. He's a good boy. Good boy, son. Wait for me, you chicken shit. Dear sir or madam, no, no, to whom it may concern, uh, regarding your product, Hollywood celebrity eye drops. <sighs> We have discovered a flaw. When administered the recommended dose of 23 drops, <laughs> it's two to three drops. <laughs> Scrub the letter. Just mark it. What are we marking it out of? Out of ten. We we'll give it a, um, a f oh, just put down shite. <laughs> And that's it, Winnie. That's the last one. No, there's one more, Agnes. No, look, we're done. Agnes, look. Oh. Mother of Jesus, what's that? It's a crash helmet. But how am I supposed to test that? You slip it on, I'll throw you at the book and wall. Ah. <laughs> Seriously, Agnes, what am I going to do with it? We have earmuffs for you. <laughs> you like these? Wait till you see this. Now, this is lovely. Now. <laughs> he looks like Martin Brando. <laughs> Rebel without applause. <laughs> How are you, Grandad? Hello, son. How are you, Mammy? Is it snowing out there? No. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Mammy, why is Grandad wearing a crash helmet? It's one of Winnie's products we had to test. Oh. We had a bit of fun with it, though, didn't we, Grandad? No. Wait till you see this, Rory. Sing, Grandad. Sing the song for Rory. No. Come on, Rory, press play on that. Wait till you hear this. It's fantastic. It's a cowboy song. Come on, Grandad. Here we go. One, two, three, four. No cowboy went right out one dark and windy day. I don't know how Grandad puts up with you. <laughs> he loves the attention, don't you, Grandad? <laughs> oh, my balls are falling off. I need you. <laughs> oh, shit. I get it, I get it. 
Hello, Dino. Come in, son. Thanks, Mrs. Brown. I think it's going to snow tonight. No, it's quite mild, actually. Fix it. <laughs> Do you want a cup of tea? No, we're going straight out. Oh. You probably need some time in your own. Uh -huh. You must be upset with the news about Trevor. Tre Trevor? What about Trevor? You know, about not coming home for Christmas. <sighs> right, are we moving? Faster than I ever did in my life. <laughs> Mummy. Hello, son. <laughs> What's wrong? Trevor's not coming home. I know. I knew it. I knew you knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> Mummy, he just can't make it. Oh, yeah. He wanted to come home. He just can't. Did he really want to come home? Yes, Mummy, he did. Well, then that'll do me. The next best thing to being here is wanting to be here. That will do me. I wonder would there be such a fuss if it was me that wasn't coming home? Oh, for God's sake, Daddy. Of course not. <laughs> Nobody fucking likes you. I'm joking. What's this? The nativity play. Did you get your part? Yes. The Virgin Mary? No. The innkeeper's wife? Nope. One of the three wise men? Not if I grew my own feckin' beard. <laughs> Don't tell me you've no lines. Oh, I have lines, all right. I spend the whole play going fucking moo moo. <laughs> <laughs> From the Virgin Mary to the dairy. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're able to laugh about it. Oh, it's much easier when you've no frickin' choice. <laughs> oh, you have it. You have what? How to kill a turkey. I got it off the internet. <laughs> to calm the turkey, place a bag over the head. Oh, God. Then, with a hammer, strike the board on the back of the head. Right. Here we go. I, I don't want to be here for this. Has to be done, Mummy. <gasps> Hello, Mr. Turkey. Here's one of Rory's letters. Well, no, he was only ten. Listen to this. Uh, Dear Santa, sir or madam, <laughs> please could I have an embroidery set? Oh, Cathy Brown. What? You were such an angry child. Dear red-nosed fat bastard. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on now. Oh, no. Here's Trevor's. Listen, dear Santa, please don't bring me anything. Give my present to a poor boy who has no toys. That'll be Trevor, all right. Rory, get that door, will you, love? Yes, damn it, that would be Trevor. He'd give them away, and you'd fucking steal them back. <laughs> Oh. Hello, everybody. Mother. <laughs> Hello, Hidley. I got your phone message. Thanks for the invitation. A little something to say Happy Christmas. Oh. Tin of biscuits. Chocolate Kimberly. Kimberly. Why, yes. Uh, business is booming. Uh, Hidley, why don't you sit in my chair? Uh, would you like a drink? Well, perhaps a sherry. Rory, get her a gin and tonic. Lemon. We've no lemon. We have it without orange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. 
That's ready now, ma. Oh, good boy. Hurley, actually, you're just in time for the switching on of the lights. <laughs> Is everybody ready? <laughs> Three, uh, two, one. <laughs> There's a bulb gone there, look. <laughs> Shoot up. Now, a toast. Oh, now, wait, before you go toasting and making merry, I think it's important that we take just a moment to think about the true meaning of Christmas. In a couple of days, we're going to celebrate the birth of Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> so, to baby Santa. To baby Santa. No, not to baby Santa. To you, Mammy. No matter how tough things were, and God knows at times they were awful, you always managed to make Christmas magical for all of us. To Mammy. To Mammy. Every child deserves Christmas. OK, let's have a little Christmas sing-along. Oh, I love a sing-song. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get your turn, Grandad. Uh, no, Betty. Betty, sing the one you sang at your mother's wedding. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> You sing. Yes, Maria, with your beautiful voice. Sing something Christmassy, something traditional. Mommy. Yes, love. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you, son. No, Mommy. Happy Christmas. <laughs> happy Christmas, everybody. And a happy new year to your family. Santa Claus. <laughs>